So, just gonna start off by throwing the sandworm. I don't know how well that's gonna work. We'll see though. Berkeley Gulp sandworms. So what I'm looking for are like the troughs. And if I can find a trough, I'll fish the side of it and right in the middle of it. Right now, I don't see any troughs or any really that much structure. So I'm just gonna cast in these, in these ways and see what happens. All I've got on is a Carolina rig. So a one and a half ounce egg sinker to a bead to a swivel and about a six or a five foot leader to my sandworm. Ah, seaweed, God. First perch of the day. What is that? Yellow perch? Or ah, kind of I have no clue what that is. So I'm using a Berkeley Gulf sandworm. Maybe I'll switch up to a sand crab or a shrimp or something. Oh, big seaweed. Don't wrap around me, please. Right as you cast. There we go. Oh yeah, wait! Got one! Got one! Bring it home! Bring it home! <laughs> it's a it's a barred surf perch. Let's go! That's I mean that's like an eight inch. I'll throw it yeah. back again. It's about the same size. Well, about the same size as year. Yeah, no scar. Birch. Nice, you got one too. Thank you so much, Birch. I will release you. I hope you have a nice day. There he goes. All right, so I got something else to try out. These big hammer grubs. Like Christmas color. I've caught a perch on them before. So it should pretty much be like the Berkeley Gulp sandworm. We'll see. There we go. There we go. <laughs> Wayne. Dink of the day. Well, he's not that good, but maybe like an ice I don't really want it. Okay. Okay. If I get a nine incher again, though, I'm keeping that for sure. This one's way softer. I don't know how they could tell, though. I know. That's what I'm saying. I guess they've done it like once or twice, so. Yeah, that's how they make the, that's how they grow. That's how they do. That would be nice. Whoa. There we go. There we go. Look at that, it's three, you got it in there. Oh yeah, definitely a better one too. Oh yeah. Oh my God, yeah. We're keeping it. I don't care anymore. Okay. That's like eight and a half, nine inches, maybe. Cook it whole. Nice little deep fry or something. That'd be pretty good. I think it'd be pretty good. Oh 
there we go. 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 It's another tiny one. Oh yeah. That's not a tiny one. Wow. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, look at that thing. It is. It's about 13. About 13 inch perch. Definitely a nice perch right here. Definitely a nice perch. Right here. There's gotta be where some fish are. Bigger perch, bigger perch. Let's get it in. Wait. Yeah. That's another great one. Amazing. Huh? That's a good one. I know, it's great. Another good one. Should I keep it? Yeah, I'll keep it. Yeah, you're good. Yeah. Nice. So again, all I'm using today, Penn Spin. Uh, so today, all I'm using again is a Penn Spin Fisher 4000 with the Bayless reel, and then uh, the Kuma Rockaway 10 footer. Got 30 pound braid, main line. To just a, a Carolina rig with a one and a half ounce egg sinker, to a bead, to the swivel, and to about a five foot leader, to this Berkeley Gulp sandworm, camo sandworm. This thing is a killer. It catches the itty bitty like tiny surf perch, all the way to the to the big big boys. So 